Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your da your daily general message for Monday, March 22nd, 2021. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in your private reading, all the information is down below in the description box below. Also guys, please take the time to smash that like button, share, comment down below, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get started here. Whomever this is meant for, I pulled a 10 card spread, five above, five below, no clarifiers, really strong message. Uh, let's rock it with the Empress coming out as the uh, outcome here, as well as three clarifiers where she's going. So let's get cracking here. There's some type of communication I feel that is going to be successful with that King of Swords energy does represent the sign of air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But before it wasn't so successful with that sword facing that six of wands, that victory didn't happen in regards to communication. Now there's a turnaround effect is coming in pretty darn fast with the eight of wands. That's fast movement, fast communication. It's going to shake you up a little bit, absolutely, with those wands literally daggering over towards that tower. So this is definitely coming out of nowhere. But I do feel with that fast movement, that communication, they're saying, let's put in the work here, okay? Now, in the past, I feel that they thought that they were putting in this work, but they were actually kind of very in and out energy with that Knight of Wands. It's that... You know, they text hello and then you don't hear from them for like a week, month, whatever, you know, time frame here. Uh, but definitely they thought that they were putting in the work. They thought that they were doing a good job is what that tells me. Getting that fulfillment, getting that completion. Uh, but I do feel in the long run, they are making that choice with the eight as well as the ten. Subtract that, you got the two of pentacles. So there is some type of decision that somebody has been feeling a little off balance initially. That's why they ghosted. That's why they cut off that communication. And now they're making that choice, that decision to rush on in, to bring more balance in as well with the Ten of Pentacles here, getting that completion of happiness, fulfillment, and balance back into this. Whereas before it was very stagnant in and out energy here. I feel that there's definitely a change with that death card. Uh, heading towards that Ace of Swords. So not only did they change in regards to their thoughts, uh, you know, they have a new insight in regards to their thought process here is what that tells me with that death, looking over at the Ace of Swords. But I also feel that that change is going to be that communication even more so with that Eight of Wands right above that death card. So things are definitely changing now. Now here's the clincher, okay? Somebody out there, after they got ghosted, they ground their energy, okay? Uh, they became the Queen of Pentacles. This does represent the sign of Earth, but I really go with the element of it all. You know, it's kind of turned looking at the devil. Devil is toxicity. The hand is facing towards the past, okay? So it's kind of like, you know, you don't even want to look up at that toxic energy. Who? Let's talk dead, okay? So I feel... I like when I talk Deb. <laughs> it comes out much better. Uh, this is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling, Deb style, that, you know, there was once upon a time communication, okay, in regards to getting success of that communication. Then all of a sudden it stopped, okay, got ghosted. Now there's movement coming in pretty quickly, pretty severely, I just heard, with that eight of wands heading towards that tower, all right? Now they want to come back in and put in that work, all right? Uh, they thought that they did good before, but mm -mm, not really. It wasn't up to par. The knight is kind of like a, I always explain to people that, you know, the cards, the tarot actually represents a little bit uh, too much of the regular playing deck of cards. This knight is basically like a jack, you know, uh, in a regular playing deck of cards. It's a slower energy. It's a immature energy. You know, it's slow motion. It's in and out energy to me. That's the way I interpret it. So to me, with these two looking at each, well, I mean, the one looking at the other says, you know, I did put in the work. No, you didn't, son. If you were putting in the total work here, you would be the king of wands, you know, and showing the action. So things basically got cut off in regards to communication. They basically faded out with that. Now they're having that aha moment, especially with the tower and that ace of swords right underneath it. That I always call that the Oprah aha moment. <laughs> I love Oprah. Uh, but yeah, definitely. Uh, she actually uses that term. That's how I picked it up. But it's kind of like an aha moment, you know. 
uh, of seeing the truth of the matter, you know, and knowing quickly what I need to do in regards to keeping this relationship. And that is through coming in pretty darn quick with that eight of wands heading towards that tower, surrounded by that ace of swords is to have a new start of communication. So somebody has seriously not only had that change in seeing the truth of the situation, but as well as now, you know, coming in at a quick pace here. Like I said, here's the clincher. Do you want them back is what that says. I don't know how else to put it because that's what this tells me. You focused, you got your bounce back in. Are you going to look up and look at the toxicity of the situation again in regards to them ghosting you again? Are you thinking that there's going to be that in and out bounce and that's good enough for you? What is your value? What is your worth here? You know, it's kind of like, nope, I'm going to stay grounded here. I'm going to focus on my pinnacle here. Uh, I'm not even going to look up at Mr. Devil, you know, because the hand is facing the past. I like the way that my life is going. I like being bounced here and I'm not really sure if I want you back, son. You know, that's what that basically tells me. You may think, or they may think that there's success in coming back and getting you back, but you are taking an introspection in regards to your worth, your value, and your mindset. And do you want them back? Okay, is what that tells me. Here it is. The Empress. A very grounded individual. You basically graduated from being the Queen of Pentacles to the Empress. That's a huge step. You know, that's good energy. You know, you're ready to move forward, but, you know, you made that choice, that decision to ground your energy is what, sorry for the glare, I'm trying to find a good spot. Two of Wands is known for taking the action, making a choice, a decision to decide whether or not you want them back, okay? To continue to be grounded here, okay? Know your worth. She's beautiful. You know, the Empress is a very beautiful energy here. You know, you got your power you got your confidence back now and you took that action to make that next step from going from the queen of Pentacles. there's nothing wrong with the queen of Pentacles. she's beautiful in herself you know she's a graduation class all by herself you know but the empress is saying you know what i know my worth you know she's higher class you know that sounded wrong but you know what i mean it's just a higher level of balance you know nurturing loving seeing the worst, seeing her, what, what her value truly is, energy here. Now, here it is. When this person comes back, you see how the higher font, which is a major arcana, represents uh, the hand, is facing that. It's kind of like spirits like, think about this before you take action in regards to this relationship, because why? Because this apology is coming in, baby. You know, that page of pentacles, pages, pages are communication, bring bounce back in. You know, uh, they're going to come back. I feel that strongly. The question is, do you act on it? Do you make that choice and that decision? Very, very strong, very interesting energy going on here. Absolutely. So everybody's going to choose differently. Okay. This is a general reading. That's why I offer private ones, you know. Uh, but I do feel that there's definitely a decision, a strong decision. You know, do you like your worth? Do you like your um, mindset clear of that negativity, clear of that confusion over what this person did? You know, I'm not trying to be Dr. Ruth here. I'm just saying it's, it's a very, very strong energy of a big, big decision in regards to do I take them back? Okay, this almost tells me it's kind of like spirits like, nope, you know, with the hand, don't make the choice, don't make that decision. But, uh, but they are going to try is what that says. So I can't clarify this one. I wanted to, I was stopped by spirit because, and the reason why is because everybody's going to be different. Are you going to accept their apology? Are you going to accept them back in? You know, because you took that time, no matter how long it did take. And believe me, it takes a long time to heal energy, you know, absolutely. Uh, so that's up to you. That's a general. That's that's everybody's different. We all have free will, free choice to make that choice, that decision to take that person back. But I really feel that the message is, is, you know, what are you worth? You know, they're going to plead. They're going to beg kind of thing. But what are you worth? You know, sometimes we got to say, you know, it's nice that you want me back. It's nice that, you know, you want to talk to me again. But after the torment that you went, me, that you put me through with that devil there, and I finally healed my energy and I finally see my worth, do I really want you back? And that's all I'm going to say about that. It's very, very strong energy. Somebody seriously needed to hear that. Absolutely. But that is what I have, guys. I hope that this helps. I truly do. If you are interested in any kind of spread, 
please check out the uh, readings in the description box. I do offer a how do they feel about you reading. It's really rock and cool. It's only $20. It's done through uh, email only. It's a 10 card spread with outcome clarifier outcomes as well. Uh, everybody seems to really enjoy it. It's done within 24 hours. So if you are interested in something like that, as well as uh, deceased loved one messages, that is also 20 done the same way through email. You guys rock. Be safe out there. Uh, wash your hands, social distance, and wear a mask if you please. And thanks guys for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye.